Hello everyone. I hope you guys are having amazing weekend. Few days back, I had a great discussion with Adiba on multiple things. Adiba work at Amazon as a programmer analyst. We had a great discussion on multiple things. If you guys are in college or in initial days of your career and want to work at fang level companies, so this discussion might help you. With that said, guys, enjoy Before the video. Before we start, I would like to thank you, Adiba. for managing time from your busy schedule i can understand right ki how difficult it is to manage time while you are a working professional so thank you for that i really appreciate it thank so you, Rahul, for yeah. having me over here as well so with that said adiba let's start with your introduction why don't you introduce yourself to the audience so hi everyone i am adiba and i'm currently working at amazon as a programmer analyst and my journey has been a whole lot of roller coaster ride so i've been graduated from vit bhopal university and then i ended up landing at amazon and uh, outside of work i really enjoy spending time with family friends close to nature and apart from that i am a huge fan of rcb mm-hmm. so i love watching cricket nice adiva good to know that you are rcb fan aur is baar tumhari team final mein hai या सैडली आई एम सपोर्टर ऑफ सी एस के एंड वो लोग लास्ट में है तो कान डू एनी थिंग सो मूविंग फॉरवर्ड अदिवा कैन यू टेल अस वॉट आर योर रोल्स एंड रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज एट अमेजन ओके सो टॉकिंग अबाउट द रोल्स एंड रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज आई वुड जस्ट गिव एन एग्जाम्पल लाइक इफ आई बिन असाइन अ पर्टिकुलर टास्क द एक्सपेक्टेशन ऑफ द टास्क इज टू फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड वट the problem statement is and then when you are clearly underst- understood the whole problem statement then you have to come up with the sub task or the step by step thing that would eventually land you to complete the whole you know task Got and it. then once you are uh, sure that these are the steps that you have to eventually uh, focus on then you can discuss that with your manager and once the manager approves it then you're good to go and proceed to for the implementation so this is mm-hmm. what i do and then once you have implemented the code mm-hmm. then your code needs to be reviewed by someone once got that it. are got reviewed then that code gets into the production and then your task will be over so it got it eventually involves testing deployment all of these steps nice nice the responsibility that i have to do on daily basis nice whatever task is assigned to you that is fully developed by you or someone helps you so the task that i would eventually get comes from some other team Mm-hmm. and then that comes into the backlog part so then that task would eventually manager is the one that decides okay this task will be assigned to you and so on and so forth then we have to come up with the steps and we can get the approval of whatever Got we are it. implementing from the manager and then we can get into but the... you have to think about the edge cases right yeah we have to think Got about it. the edge cases we have to think okay these we have to write the unit test of all the code mm. that we are writing so all of these things comes into picture nice 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 and what are the tech stack you guys are using so my primarily tech stack revolves around uh, front end and back end both mm-hmm. so in front end i would say react js and in mm. back end i would say heavily on java so nice. if you have to land here you have to grind well in java and i would also suggest you to prepare dsa in java acha talking about the cloud technologies i would say lambda ec2 uh, cloudwatch mm-hmm. alarms cloudwatch logs you have to be you know well versed with all of these things or how you can see log insights how you can see logs of a particular api gateway and Got all it. these things so all these things you are using in your day to day task yeah in day to day task whether we are stuck with any bug you have to check the logs and then you have mm. to come up ki okay this is the issue then you have to search on the other app okay this is the issue this is the solution then you have to try that solution by your own nice so the whole procedure and in interview did they ask you anything about it or interview was just focused on on coding stuff and your problem solving skills interview was purely on dsa i would say Okay. So first two rounds were purely on DSA, and then they were also focusing on time and space complexities, of course. Mm-hmm. And in the third round, they were like focusing on the leadership principle that Amazon has. So mm-hmm. you have to grind those sixteen leadership principles and make sure that whenever you are answering those hypothetical or behavioral questions, you try to include those leadership principles in your answers as well using the STAR technique. Okay. 
and what is this star technique so star technique is basically situation task okay. action and results so whenever you are given a question you are supposed to you know think out of the box and then you have to understand the whole situation and then you have mm-hmm. to say okay besides this situation this is the task that i'm going to do or proceed with that okay. and then what is the action that you will be implementing for that particular situation and then what will be the outcome that will be the result got it and i came to know ki amazon was really unexpected thing for you so how did amazon happen okay so talking about my journey finally actually in my third year i self rejected amazon because mm-hmm. i was not well prepared at that point of time okay so i did not make it to amazon at that point of time but then i thought why not give it a try i should prepare well mm-hmm. and uh, when i was you know getting the opportunity to try different stuffs i did give hackathons and everything and when i got placed in some other company due to campus placements of mm-hmm. course you know the joining date was pretty delayed by 6 months so okay. i thought ki okay i should try uh, somewhere else off campus and i should do an internship rather than mm. the full time job so i you know gave certain interviews and then i tried to apply jobs off campus via amazon jobs portal and then one day i got the mail from their end okay amazon is looking for a programmer analyst role mm-hmm. if you are interested you can fill the survey link and nice. then i applied to that survey link and once my resume got shortlisted over there i got the opportunity to be interviewed at amazon okay nice so you prepared specifically for amazon no i have not specifically prepared for amazon but the way how you know dsa is something which is pretty common in most mm, of the companies right so i focused on that i focused on solving coding questions on lead code and gfg and apart from that in the third round i would say yes i specifically focused on the leadership principle of amazon mm. and i went through the company's website and got to know what is the current project that the company is currently working on so these are the few you know work that i have done pre- beforehand into the last round i would say nice to agar koi banda daily like practice kar raha hai to usko koi specific preparation karne ki zarurat nahi hai he can simply attempt the interview right and he might clear it also या बेसिकली अगर आपको जावा या डी एस ए अच्छे से आता है तो यू आर गुड टू गो एंड फोकस ऑन यू नो नॉट जस्ट सॉल्विंग द क्वेश्चन बट ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन ईच एंड एवरी लाइन ऑफ द कोड वेल यूर कोडिंग ड्यूरिंग द इंटरव्यू एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट वंस यू आर डन विद कोडिंग यू शुड आस्क द इंटरव्यूअर वेदर आई शुड यू नो एक्सप्लेन यू इन डिटेल रिगार्डिंग द होल वर्किंग ऑफ द कोड और शुड आई जस्ट कंक्लूड विद द टाइम एंड स्पेस कम्प्लेक्सिटी सो दिस इज योर रिस्पॉन्सिबल नॉट द इंटरव्यू इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल टू टेल यू दैट गॉट इट गॉट इट तो अदीबा वॉट आर द पर्कस ऑफ वर्किंग एट अमेजन फ्री लंच मिलता है Yes, actually we have one card. तो उसमें हमें पैसे मिलते हैं monthly मिलते mm-hmm. हैं तो उसी से हमको खाने को मिलता है सब कुछ we can get breakfast, lunch, nice. dinner, snacks, everything. Nice, nice. So that's a huge point working at Amazon. And Adiba, like uh, if I ask you, अगर तुम्हें एक college student को जो कि एक aspirant है कि उसको एक product based company में जाना है और वो final year में है considering कि वो final year में है तो तुम उसको क्या गाइडेंस या डायरेक्शन दोगी मैं तो सीधे यही बोलूंगी कि डीएसए खोल के पी जाओ क्योंकि दिस इज द फर्स्ट थिंग कि ये तो होना ही चाहिए मैंडेटरी है जब आपको डीएसए अच्छे से आ जाए उसके बाद आप मेक श्योर sure करो कि ठीक है हम क्वेश्चन को अच्छे से समझते हैं और फिर आप लैंड करो कि कॉम्पिटेटिव कोडिंग कैसे करनी कॉम्पिटेटिव कोडिंग इज अ वेरी बैक साइड ऑफ द स्टोरी फोकस ऑन यू नो ब्रूट फोर्स अप्रोच कि आप क्वेश्चन को कैसे इम्प्लीमेंट कर रहे हो क्या सोच रहे हो यू नो इंटरव्यू में फोकस ये किया जाता है कि आपका थॉट प्रोसेस क्या है वी आर नॉट एक्सपेक्ट एक्सपेक्टिंग यू टू गो इन टू द राइट टर्न एट द वेरी मोमेंट पहले आप सोच के रहो यू हैव टू एक्सप्लेन दैट थिंग विच कम्स अंडर द ब्रूट फोर्स अप्रोच नाइस you have to be well versed and apart from just dsa you have to also focus on core concepts like dbms ho gaya sql okay. ho gaya oops ho gaya to ye sab questions interview bit se prepare kar lo wahi questions interviews mein bhi puche hi jate hain to nice zyada hectic nahi hai so adiba agar tumhe ek advice share karni ho college students ko jo abhi प्रिपेयर कर रहे हैं टू गेट इन टू अफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग जॉब तो तुम क्या एडवाइस उनको देना चाहोगी सो वन पीस ऑफ एडवाइस टू ऑल द यंगस्टर्स आउट देर आई वुड से फोकस ऑन कंसिस्टेंसी ओवर परफेक्शन 
because consistency would eventually help you to learn and grasp things real quick. Start with small steps, grind DSA well, don't jump into the system design directly and prepare the core concepts like DBMS, SQL, OOPS, all of these things and also focus on time and space complexities. Nice. Fully agree with you, Adiba. So, thank you, Adiba. I think you have shared a lot of insights which will help a lot of people. And uh, guys, Adiba has a separate top mate page where she helps aspirant students from her guidance and her insightful experience and amazing. So do check out her page. What else? Thank you so much Rahul for having me over here. It's been lovely sharing my journey with each one of you and stay connected. Yeah, definitely Adiba. We will be having more one to one with Adiba. We will be exploring more about her career journey, how she got into Amazon and how she's helping others with her experience. So thank you Adiba once again for for managing the time. Thank you so much.